singing together, sing a new song Alright Put your light in the air for love oh, It's beautiful, beautiful Let me hear you say yeah, 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 yeah Hello YouTube, this is Deborah Smith coming to you today. I'm coming to you. I know uh, I was supposed to do my Wednesday food for thought, but I was, I've been going through some things. So um, I've had some losses. Uh, I lost a dear friend of mine Tuesday evening and she's also my assistant pastor's wife at the church. She was very sweet a uh, dear friend of mine and it really really hurt me and I wasn't able to do anything I've lost several dear friends within a week's time and it's just been very devastating but I know it's a part of life so I did want to do my uh food for thought so I'm coming on today so it's Thursday's food for thought uh because it's kind of similar to what uh, the Lord blessed me to realize it's kind of similar to what I'm going through. It relates to it. And uh, it says, when you find when you find no solution to a problem, it's probably not a problem to be solved, but rather a truth to be accepted. I read that one more time. When you find no solution to a problem, it's probably not a problem to be solved but rather a truth to be accepted. And this was very, very powerful to me. This was a powerful quote, and it is so very true as I sit and thought about that and I repeatedly read it to myself. A lot of times we look at things as problems and we be looking for solutions to them when it's really not a problem at all. It's a truth that we need to accept. And the friend that I lost Tuesday, I began to think about that. Uh, we have been praying and praying for her, for that solution to for the Lord to heal. Whereas it really wasn't a solution. It was just a truth that we needed to accept that it was her time. Just like it will be our time, all our times, eventually, because the Lord said we were born into this world to die. And... Uh, you know, it wasn't a solution to that, even though the Lord had healed her many years ago and added 16 years unto her life. And she was able because she's not old. She wasn't old at all, but she was able to see her grandchildren for her business to flourish and to be prosperous. So really, truly, she were blessed. And while we were praying and looking for a solution that it was just the truth that we needed to accept that it was her time. And we also do that. In our life and relationships, I know this year I've said this many times that I that I've purged some friends and some family members because you know while I was busy trying to figure out why why the relationship wasn't strong or looking for a solution, it was just a truth that I needed to accept. And once I did accept that truth, I was able to go on and be comfortable with it that. Our friendship had ended. It, the time had expanded because God doesn't always bring people into our lives to stay. Even though a friendship that I recently, you know, we're not close anymore. It was 30 some years. You know, that was a long time. A lot of times, you know, people just come into your life to for you to be a help to or maybe, you know, for them to be a help to you, whatever the case may be. Or, you know, uh, some people just come into your life for a few months. You know, everybody don't come to stay, what I'm trying to say. So a lot of times we have, that's the truth that we have to accept, is that everybody is not coming into your life to stay. Just like all of us didn't come into this world to stay. We're just passing through. Uh, we're just allowed a time here uh, to do what God has purposed for us to do on this earth. And once that time is up and we've done what he needed us to do then we're leaving this earth so you know everything doesn't need a solution it's a truth a lot of times that we need to accept even in uh marriages sometimes you know we'll study working at that thing and trying to get it together wondering why it's not going and a lot of times is that you all really wasn't meant to be together from the beginning that's the truth that you know you needed to accept that you really wasn't a couple at all and that you really wasn't even meant to be together. So, you know, once you accept that truth, 
then things start to unfold better. You start to feel better. You can breathe better, you know. And as I looked at this quote, I really could relate that it was so, so very true. And I said, Lord, this is so powerful and so true. We are always trying to find solutions to what we think are problems when it's really just the truth we have to accept about whatever might be uh, going on with us. So I thought this was very fitting for my Thursday uh, food for thought. I'm so sorry, like I said, that I didn't come to you on Wednesday, but I was really dealing with that and I'm still dealing with it. I ask for your prayer for me and our church family and her family as well. Um, I'm so glad that you shared this time with me and please give this quote a thought because a lot of times there is no solution. We just need to accept the truth. And I hope you all have a fantastic Thursday. And until my next video, everyone, please stay blessed.